everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi! Um, I am so excited because um, after a long night of, you know, one whip and watching one whip and chat turn into the next, turn into the next, and before you know it, I had a finish on my hands, so um, a little tired, woke up, still woke up at the same time this morning, you know, get Apollo set up and all that stuff, and I was like, let's go ahead and film the finish. I'm super excited, but also still coming to life over here, so um, yeah, I, I can't believe that I got it done all in one evening. I was able to move through the last few sections quickly, and if you're wondering what this canvas is, um, I was working on... Uh, da, 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 da. This is Self-Portrait by Tamara Delampica. So this is a square drill canvas, uh, 48 colors. We'll take a look at the size, it's not on here. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this for probably the past month and I had only three sections to go before I set it aside to start working on Astrid by Micah Jolina as part of a couple of events for August. But last night I finished up um, a section of Astrid and I was like, you know what? I'm feeling pretty confident um, that I'll be able to complete that canvas this month. I'm uh, more than halfway. So let me take a break and see if I can crank through um, some of self-portrait. And lo and behold, it's finished. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Da, da, da. Yay! There it is. Let's scoot it down just a little bit for you. I can't quite get the entire thing in frame. Um, but you can you get the you get the gist. <laughs> There's the majority of it, the vast majority of it there. Um, so yeah, this is a, a 52 by 68 centimeter square drill canvas. Like I said, it's got the 40 uh, 48 colors, and yeah, it there it is. Um, a couple of things I wanted to point out. This will be a relatively quick video. A couple of things I wanted to mention: uh, drill quality, symbol clarity. It was all very nice. The stickiness of the canvas was excellent. Um, one thing I did notice is it looks like uh, during manufacturing, or it seems like during manufacturing, they might have got a little extra adhesive. I don't know what happened up there, but you can see a lot of my shirt fuzzies and probably dead skin and stuff stuck to the top. And I tried to wipe it off with um, with water and it just wouldn't come off. So I'm going to go over it with maybe some rubbing alcohol or something like that. Um, it wasn't so sticky that I was having you know, I was noticing it too much during diamond painting. It was just enough to catch some nasties. So the top almost looks a little bit yellowed, um, whereas the rest of the sides look fine. Um, this Scotch washi tape held on pretty much the whole time. It did come up a little bit. You can see, you know, when I folded over, it just what didn't stick well to the back of the canvas, but to the front, I had no issues. And I think I'm gonna stick with the Scotch brand for now. Um, they just, they seem to make some really awesome washi tape. Um, but yeah, drill quality, just fine. Symbols, no real issue. Um, yeah, didn't, didn't notice too, too much. Um, and I think the rendering came out really, really well. Here is the original image again. And then here's the finish. I noticed that um, at least in this rendering or in this image, her skin tone and her gloves are a little bit more on the beige or lighter tones, but I'm getting more pinks. Um, at least up close, um, especially in the glove, but I don't think it deters from the overall look. Um, so there she is sitting in a, an older Bugatti, just living her best life. <laughs> um, I did one enhancement here. I went ahead and added just a few ABs to her lips, just to add a little bit more glam to it. I hope you can see those. Yeah, there you go. So just just a handful, literally just a handful. I just picked one of the colors from her lips and popped in some ABs. So um, just added a little something, something. I was thinking of maybe doing something to her eyes, but I didn't want this to be too glammed up or draw too much focus. Um, I think that the, the image itself is plenty as it is. So um, I think it's beautiful. I'm going to most likely hold on, keep the washi tape on until I hang it. Um, that way I'm not getting any more, any fuzzies in the corners here. But I do plan on either hanging this in my office or in my craft room here, or when I start my new role, seeing what my cubicle or office setup looks like there and see if there's an opportunity to hang up some diamond painting this diamond paintings there. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it up. As far as extra drills, I pretty much had a small handful of each color left over. So about that much, about that much. So I didn't run out of any, and I think I have extras of all 
the colors. So um, as far as trash goes, I only have this tiny little amount of trash here um, that I had. However, I wasn't being very meticulous about picking out the trash as I saw it. For the sake of progress, I just kept working around it. So I'm sure that there's still some trash in these extra drills, but from what I was able to pull, it, it was all very minimal. A lot of it was those big kind of blobs of um, acrylic or resin, as opposed to like the actual diamond having uh, nubs or little tabs. There was a couple colors, um, some of these lighter colors that had some little baby tabs, but it wasn't anything that I wasn't able just to kind of pop in the trash or the tab would just kind of fold up or you know pop off. So no issues really with drill quality at all. Um, I overall really enjoyed it. I guess the other things that I will mention, um, even though I think this rendering is awesome, there are a couple of spots and it's less noticeable as you pull away from like a proper viewing distance, but there are some spots here where we have some colors that kind of came in the rendering that look a little out of place. Like you can see we're doing like this darker transition to lighter tones here, but we have some of that darker kind of forest green all the way out here. Um, so stuff like that. Um, even here where it just looks a little random in here, here and here, um, there's like this, there's a couple pieces of blue here where it just, there's a couple pieces of blue here and here, um, where the, the computer rendering just kind of threw in some random colors. And like I said, when you pull away, it's not really noticeable, um, but it almost looks like a little blemish on, on the kit. So who knows, by the time I get around to actually hanging this up or framing it, I might go back through and replace those, but honestly, it's it's minimal in my eyes. I'm not too concerned about it. So that's that. That is Self Portrait by Tamara Delampica and Distracted by Diamonds. Excellent canvas. I would highly recommend not only this, but pretty much anything from Distracted by Diamonds. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, you know, anything like that. I'm trying to think of what else you might need, but should you need anything in regards to this, uh, this finish, please let me know, but definitely would recommend. I'm going to go through and kit this down, and this will actually be the first entry into my new diamond painting logbook, so super excited to work on that today. All right, well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, or anyone that you think might take value from this content, um, and thanks again. As always, happy placing. Bye! 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 bye.